Thank you very much. It's my great honor as to present just a few slides to underline my words. I should be there in a second. So I'm, I'm very, very excited to be here. Does it work here? No. No, sir. Like this. Now I just want to fail. I like to move this better. So I'm very excited because, uh, as you just heard, we've been working towards this for one year. And uh, right here right now, uh, we will officially launch the community-run journal of Open Hardware. So, So it's my honor to represent the editorial board here, but um, it's really thanks to all the amazing people that made it happen, and most of them came from Gosh last year, so this was our group photo taken last year, and um, as you already heard, there were loads of discussions, and one of the discussions that we had is that it would be really useful to have an academic peer review process for some of the open hardware work. And then after the meeting, we continued talking over the internet, um, how this should exactly look and what structure we should have and who else should be part of this and we invited um, other friends as of the editorial board and uh, created the journal and there's still the question though why do we need yet another academic journal? There are tons of journals out there and all the academics among you will probably have had this experience oh Nature, Nature Communication Group is launching yet another journal do we really need that? So we feel really strongly that we do need this journal, and we think it's also relevant to people who are not academics for the following reasons. First of all, uh, we created a de dedicated format that uh, really should make hardware very open and truly replicable. So most journals that already exist, we feel are not suitable for this purpose or sharing of hardware-related files, for example. Then uh, we have a through having a journal, we have the academic peer review, of course, so it's not just academics involved in there, but also community members and anyone who might be an expert in the publication that you're submitting, for example. But then we also preserve documentations and index them so they can become part of the academic and community discourses. And uh, this doesn't yet seem too unusual maybe for an academic journal, it is a new structure, but uh, the next three points are something that we think are even more unusual and that we feel very passionate about. Um, one thing is that we want to have a very um, inclusive publishing platform, which is not only for academics, but also for community members and hardware professionals to exchange together on this platform. And also, very, very importantly, we feel that a lot of the impact of open hardware is not only the engineering achievement. Sometimes someone designs a really amazing piece of open hardware that an engineering professional could do better in a closed way, maybe. But then the impact of that work is not only the engineering achievement, but it's maybe the social transformation, design aspect, legal aspects, aspects of how this has uh, historically been perceived by people, how it can transform education. And in our journal, we want to provide a platform where all these things can come together, and we can have full papers discussing all these various aspects and bring together different disciplines with their own way of speaking. So it's actually quite a challenge, and I think we've done a good job so far to get these together. And also, very importantly, it is our community that co-owns the journal. We run this in a partnership with the Open Scholarship and Big Free Press. Um, but we, we co-own it, so this means that we control the values of the journal and how accessible it is, and the pricing and development goals. And we're free to take this somewhere else if that partnership doesn't suit the development of our community any further. OK, so how do we implement this? Uh, we do this by accepting three different kinds of publications that you can uh, submit. And we have on our journal website three, um, journal, uh, three pieces launched already. Mm -hmm. I'm going to briefly introduce them along with the format in which we publish them. So the first one is the hardware meta paper. We call it meta paper because it's supposed to be a concise paper in which you explain the general goal of your project 
and your design approach, how do you make sure that it's replicable? How can it be reused in different contexts and how is it open? But then along with this, you refer to an extensive documentation on how this can be put together, where you have plenty of space to put lots of images and files, and that's also going to be reviewed and archived. Uh, so we have an ultrasound imaging paper as the first submission that's launched already on the website. You can read more there. Then we have full length articles. <clears throat> so these are not usually hardware pieces, but this is something about hardware. In this instance, for example, from Professor Joshua Pierce, is a paper about emerging business models. So I've already heard from lots of you who are very interested in this topic. It's in fact relevant. It could also be a social science paper. It could be legal aspects, educational aspects, anything like that as a full paper. And then, of course, also we have reviews. Um, this one is not actually online yet, but it will be in the next few days. So uh, basically what you've just heard from Jenny and Craig uh, is put to paper in a very, very nice way. I think you can read more about the actual goals uh, and outcomes from last year in this community review. And uh, there we would accept as well reviews about hardware projects or uh, a book, for example, to share resources relevant to the community in this one. So with this, I would almost like to conclude with a call for submission for the journal that's now publicly available. Go and visit Journal of Open Hardware.org and submit hardware meta papers, full articles, or reviews. And uh, we also have a special DOSH 17 edition because we, of course, believe that DOSH is a very special community that brings together a variety of really interesting projects. So if you submit your work that was presented here, discussed here, or even further develop workshop outcomes into a full academic paper, you can submit this by the 28th of May, and then it will be part of this special GOSH edition of the journal. And but of course, I've already mentioned that it's, it's not really just me, but it's a whole editorial board. A lot of them have been present in last year's GOSH for this. So the people marked in blue, should be here in the room. I'm sure you've already met at least some of them, and you can approach any of us with your questions. And of course, um, you are more than welcome to participate if you feel you would get like to get involved more beyond just submitting a paper. But organizing this, you're very welcome to come to us and be part of the editorial board. Thank you very much.